and Cristiano, yeah. uh, guitar player. And Tomás, singer. Okay. You have a new release since last year, more or less, this Labyrinth. Mm -hmm. uh, if you were to tell about what's old and what's new on this album, uh, uh, but what feels old and what feels new <laughs> for you guys? <laughs> Sometimes you really can never say what is actually old and what is new, but you can say how is it moving. Mm -hmm. So Ag Agony was uh, our first experience in uh, composing our songs together with all the orchestrations, so it was brand new and uh, many things we did were still in a you know, work in progress way. So in some way, Labyrinth was the first time we had uh, already a lot of knowledge about this when we entered mm -hmm. the studio. It's the more complex album we put out until now. I mean, when you when you get into the songs, every song has is uh, it's different feeling, and it's like a single itself. So it's I think the continuity is good, but in the meantime, there's like a different way we manage the um, the dynamics. It, it's more like a story, so it goes up and down, and you got tension and release. You got moments where the music just you know, let's go in some way and then all the power comes out. Agony was more like <laughs> all like this. I, I really like the fact that this one is more like a story. I, I feel like sometimes it's like um, you write the music, but it's also the music that writes you. <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah. it comes back. The story uh, this time has been much more important for us because it has been um, a uh, very big part of the, the, the process from the day one, actually, even before that. The, the story of the Labyrinth of Nassos to me is very, um, is, it, you know, it's, it's really, um, act, act, you know, I would say actual, even mm -hmm. if, it's, if, if it's so old. It, we are talking about the fact uh, of fighting your own fears, and uh, that is the only, the only thing that you have, in, you know, in the end, because the only way, in my opinion, to to reach a point in which you really enjoy your existence is the the fact that you are able to manage, you know, things with yourself. So you need to know yourself, and you need to really understand which things you fear the most and how you can deal with that. Challenge, you think, when it comes to writing general? I'm in general, sure. I, I'm pretty sure it has been writing agony. I'm pretty sure. Why is that? Because I, it I was mean, the first time ever we, we okay. had to to reason on like a, a thousand instruments. We, we had a tour in the middle and we had to do the tour because, you know, the, when you do things, it's always like, okay, if you guys do this, then you can do this. Mm -hmm. and you, 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 sometimes you can't say no, so we had to do it and interrupt everything and then start again. And we had a very, very short uh, deadline. It was the first time with Nuclear Blast they wanted the album to be out in a certain period. So That's it's normal. And it was had, a quite a challenge, I guess. Yeah, yeah. but it, it's been very worth, stressful. I think, even because w we did it and we were also able to get onto our first Summer Slaughter tour in the, U in the United States. And it's been very good to put out the album right before that. Mm -hmm. So obviously it was, you know, it was needed. But uh, we ended up really like the last three weeks working like twenty days, twenty, 20 hours a day. Like so, easy. Sleep, yeah. Really sleeping four hours and then wake up. And then you know every yeah. time we finish uh, an album, we say to ourselves, "No, guys, next, next time, time, next time is not gonna be like <laughs> no, this." No, 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 that it can work like that. Next <laughs> no, time it's gonna be sorry, easy, sorry, sorry. right? <laughs> Absolutely. Right now, uh, your manager is Maurizio. Yeah. He yes. used to be in Cataplis. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you think that working with him? has advantages considering his experience? Oh, obviously, yeah. Absol and absolutely. Yeah. It changed anything in the way you... Oh, it changed a lot of things for us because we, we found ourselves um, for sure um, understood mm 
-hmm. more understood than in the past. You know, in, in today's um, industry, it's not really easy to find persons you can communicate um, really well on every aspect. Mm -hmm. uh, he's also Italian as a heritage, <laughs> so that helps that really makes the difference. because he, he understands some of our um, feelings, you yeah. know, mm -hmm. uh, coming from our culture. Uh, the idea of combining face paint and uh, fancy costumes on the stage? Mm -hmm. It is all, uh, uh, you know, uh, one idea, I would say, a, a unique thing, mm -hmm. uh, which comes out when, uh, when we decided to, uh, to develop the, the visual yep. part of the band. So the, the show, the, the costumes, the image, basically. So the videos and, you know, um, being that what we uh, what we play, it's actually based on the idea that uh, we would be uh, like um, classic um, mm -hmm. musicians, uh, like in the nineteenth century. Um, but uh, you know, the music you know, is brutal, so it, it, the brutality and the romanticism are put together. Then how is the romanticism of the laundry after the shows? And you have such oh well. <laughs> Uh, it's, After it's the laundry, there's a lot of romanticism. <laughs> but before, before the laundry, not yeah. really too much. But we're getting better. Once, once you know, a long time ago, no, not, not that long, actually, like three years ago, we went around like with sort of luggage, <laughs> with all the stuff, you know, put together inside the luggage. So you can also imagine what happened when you open the luggage. Well, that bodies. Now we have a, 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 an actual wardrobe you know, <laughs> with the heater shooting inside all the time to to dry the stuff, so it's, it's kind of... You learn. And we try to do laundry as much as we can. And, and remember, we are Italian. <laughs> <laughs> so we are we very are messy, crazy. you know, yeah. and loud. Yeah, yeah. So it also it, it all results in a, in a like a like some something you can you can see as a fight, <laughs> a very big fight, which is not a fight for us, but yeah, for us it, it's it looks like a very big fight. People shouting and yelling to <laughs> each other, yeah, yeah. and they're probably saying, "I love you, I love you too." You know, yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. just <laughs> it's just that. Yeah, it's ours.